Hey guys, welcome back. So this is our AWS console and continuing from the last lesson, let me show you how you can create subnets and private and public subnet basically. So in services, let's go to VPC. <coughs> so you can see we have two VPCs, one is our default and the one which we created, so 10.0.0.0 16. Let's select that here and let's go to subnet and you can see there's a clear option to create subnet so let's just click name this as private subnet we'll create two subnet one private one public select a VPC availability zone so uh, there's one analogy you should remember that one subnet is equal to one availability zone. So subnet cannot span multiple availability zones. This you should remember. Uh, a single availability zone can have multiple subnets, but uh, a subnet cannot span multiple availability zones. This is as simple as that. So I'll leave it uh, as it is. And for side block, 10.0.1.0 slash 24. This will be my private subnet. And I'll create it. So our subnet is created, let's close it. Now let's create another subnet. And this will be our public subnet. Same, the VPC is there. Again, availability zone preference none. And the subnet will be 10.0.2.0 slash 24. And create. Cool, so we have created both our subnets right now if you go back and you see that you don't have internet gateway attached to your vpc so let's just create an internet gateway i would say my igw let's create so it's created so you can see it it's created immediately because aws has just shared it with you so it hasn't gone and created anything in the background now if you refresh it Okay, what the problem is, okay, sorry, wrong VPC was selected. Uh, not sure why is my IG, yeah, there it is. So I think there's some problem with the AWS console. It requires a lot of refreshing. So you can see one IGW, which is from a default VPC is already created and attached to it. So this is my IGW, which we created for our VPC. Let's go and attached to a VPC. Select a VPC, you can see there's only one. And let's attach. So now you have an internet gateway attached to your VPC. Okay, now let's go to route tables. So let's select the VPC. So by default, one main route table comes uh, with your VPC, which it is which is created by AWS, but we'll create a separate route table and name it as public rtb just public route table vpc is correct and let's create it cool so now we have one default and one so if you go to the subnet association of default vpc you can see that both the subnets are attached to the default uh, route table by default so you haven't done it aws has done it for it but we want our public subnet to be associated with this route table because we are going to put a route to internet in this route table. Okay, so let's add a route and for internet you dot do dot ten dot zero dot zero slash zero and you can see internet gateway and my IGW appears and save. So after doing this you need to come to submit association and edit the submit association and you need to select your you can see right now they're attached to main route table but now you need to attach this one which is a public submit to this route table and you just need to save it so now if you go to main route table there will be only one subnet which is your private submit by default so you don't need to 
play around with that it's, it's by default uh, private cool so now you are all sorted you have a public subnet you have a private subnet you have a virtual private cloud vpc running you have internet gateway that's all pretty much required to run your uh, uh, infrastructure in cloud basically so now you can go on and launch ec2 instances in this uh, vpc yeah, you can select public subnet you can select private subnet so in the next lecture we'll be launching a couple of ec2 instances and talking about uh, elastic ips and public ips so the difference between an elastic ip and public ip will be covering that in that lecture i hope this was pretty clear uh, if there's any doubt you can just comment below uh, i'll try to explain it uh, better if, if 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 this didn't help uh, so that's it uh, for this video thank you for watching guys